Hey everyone, I just wanted to create a quick video, a tutorial if you will, on the Dream Sheet. So if you've paid $5 to become a patron on Chad Eckert's Patreon, you obviously have access to the sheet. And if you're looking at it going, how should I use this? I'm here to provide a couple tips. So first and foremost, I have a filter on this spreadsheet that should be available to everybody. It's called the Dream Sheet. Go ahead, drill down on that. And obviously it's going to provide a filter on all of the columns that are in this Dream Sheet. Um, and throughout that, you can go ahead and, you know, you can clear, you, don't worry, you're not going to clear the data. You're just going to clear the check marks that come with this. So you can go ahead and clear and say you wanted to find all the golfers that have a draw shot, uh, shot shape. This will filter out by the draw shot shape. So we can go ahead, select all, that'll bring everything back in and it'll remove the filter. But you can do that on every one of these columns. So like if you wanted to see... All right, who scored the most DraftKings points uh, last week? You can go to this column, sort Z to A, and you can see Hideki Matsuyama scored the most DraftKings points last week. Um, likewise, you can go throughout any of these stats and you know either filter, you can even throw a conditional on. So what conditionals are, if you don't know, you can come down here, scroll down a little bit, you can see all these greater than, less than type of things. Um, we're on off, you know, um, off the T stats. So I want to find anyone who has greater than zero stats because that means they're gaining on, on the field or they have been gaining on the field throughout their last seven weeks. So if I do that, put that filter on, we're going to see nothing but positive strokes gained off the T. And again, you can do that with all of these columns. Um, and if you do have any questions, leave them uh, with me. There's a nice little chat function right here. Um, I can see, you know, or we all can see who leaves and who enters, but we can also leave questions. So if you do have any questions, you again, you can find that right by all of our, our names. It's called chat. So show chat. You can go in here, you know, type whatever your question is. I am almost in the spreadsheet every hour of every day um either i'm you know providing a couple more updates or i'm using it to look into it myself so again you have these filters uh that you can provide you can also create your own filter uh, i think everybody has editing access um what i would actually suggest you guys to do is first file make a copy and then go from there and do that otherwise you'll just disturb the data for everyone so it's always best to go and make a copy file make a copy that way you have it for yourself and it's not shared with anybody um and you basically download the data that we have on this on the spreadsheet so you do that um the other thing that i want to add is you can hide any of these columns if you think they're nonsensical and and it doesn't apply to you like you don't care about value you don't care about shot shape you can go ahead and hide all of these columns um so again depending on what you want you can do that and if you wanted to like compare say like course history uh let's see here you wanted to uh compare like bent grass average there we go that's what i'm thinking of let's let's go and look bent grass with like recent form data so we can go ahead hide all these columns and there we have, you know, you have bent grass versus recent form. And it's not recent form on bent grass. It's just these are the last seven weeks. But if that was something you wanted to compare, you can certainly do that by hiding. To unhide, you just click these double arrows up here, either one. It'll open up everything once again. Um, and again, you know, anything that's hidden, you can see that up here with the arrows. So hopefully that was a decent tutorial again if you have any questions please leave them in the chat um i will ha i will answer them i believe chad will answer them especially after seeing this video um but yeah we want to make this experience as easy and as nice as possible for you guys so again if you have any questions just let us know okay